Yo what's up guys and welcome back to a brand new video here on my channel and in today's video I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in Fortnite Chapter 2 Season 8. I'm going to show you a brand new program which pretty much allows you to disable Cortana, Microsoft Edge and a whole lot of other programs on Windows which are super unnecessary and overall this is just gonna boost your FPS and increase your Windows PC performance in Season 8 and if you guys enjoy content like this please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me so so much and without any further ado let's get straight into this topic. And yeah guys, in the first place, I want to show you a program which is called Venero Tweaker and I'm gonna put this program on my Discord guys. So therefore just simply click on the first link in the description and there you can get this program from. And then just simply drag it here onto your desktop, right click onto it and go into extract all and extract it all here onto your desktop. Then you're just simply gonna open up this new file here and click onto Venero Tweaker 13300 setup and then just leave it run in the background and then we already got it here, the Venero Tweaker. We're just simply gonna let it run here on our Windows PC and it's gonna tell us first of all all our specs and all the good stuff here boys. And what we wanna take a first look at is disable background apps. And please make sure that the check here is actually set, disabling all of the background apps here on Windows 11 which are super unnecessary. And then you have also like tons of other features you can do here. There's like so much customizability, but I wouldn't recommend you to really go like too in depth here because you can mess up something super easy here if you don't really know like what you're doing. And then after we're done with that guys, we're just simply gonna type in here Windows apps until we find the Windows apps icon here. And we're just gonna simply double click onto it. And then we got it already, Windows apps. And then we have in the first place, the Sable Cortana. And if you guys didn't know, Cortana is like this service here on Windows 10 and 11 where you can talk with your PC pretty much and it's gonna do all the tasks for you or it's just like this AI which is built you know into Windows 11 and I would recommend you to actually disable this one because you're gonna free up so much system power guys which you could be utilizing to actually play video games and just simply get higher FPS and speed up your PC. I never really utilized it myself so therefore I can definitely say you can disable it and yeah if you also didn't use it just simply make sure that it's disabled you know it's just taking up so much system power and then as we go here next up onto auto update store apps this is also like a thing where you get a note for yourself do you actually want windows to automatically update all your applications on your windows pc i mean if you already disabled all of them anyways just simply put the check in here to disable like all the auto updates i mean for me it's worth it because there's also just like a service running consistently in the background and just slowing down my pc so therefore please just put the check in there as well and here it gets actually now to a spicy point. We have Microsoft Edge in here, guys. And as you guys know, Microsoft Edge is like this built-in browser from Windows itself. So therefore, it's like always running in the background. I personally use Google Chrome, so therefore, I never used Microsoft Edge. So I would recommend you to click here onto Add. Um, so therefore, I would recommend you to click here onto Edge Pre-Launch and Tap Preloading. And then we can see like both of these settings here. And we're just gonna simply disable them. And yeah, therefore, guys, once you're done with it, you pretty much disable all the background processes which are related to Microsoft Edge and there are tons of them guys trust me so therefore if you disable it you also free up a lot of RAM space which you could be using for gaming so therefore please just make sure to put both of these checks here on disable edge tap preloading and disable edge pre-launching super important then we also have do you want to close all tabs prompt in edge and we're also gonna press enable here onto it guys so we just make sure that literally nothing from Microsoft Edge is actually running in the background this is super important so therefore we already disabled Cortana and we disabled Microsoft Edge which are probably two of the most hardware demanding applications which are pre-installed on Windows 10 and Windows 11 so therefore please just make sure to disable both of these here and we should be chilling and this program is pretty much also telling us that we need to reboot our Windows PC now to actually change all of the effects here and therefore yeah you just probably should press reboot now and then continue with the video or simply like do it afterwards when I show you like all the extra steps so therefore I'm just gonna click here onto I'm gonna do it myself later and yeah then we can simply close this program and you can actually delete these and yeah guys in the first place I'm going to show you how to actually disable a few really unnecessary services here on Windows 11 and what I'm talking about are the widgets here on the bottom line or also here the multiple tasks or we have here something like the teams chat I'm just going to show you how to actually disable it and all you guys need to do is press pretty much like here this windows key until you find your normal windows settings just simply open it up and go into personalization and then we're gonna scroll down a little bit until we find taskbar and then we have now everything we have widgets we have chat task view and search and what I would recommend you is to simply like turn all of these here actually off in the background guys because they're just taking up so much system power and therefore you can just overall free up some RAM some CPU power and just overall your system you know and just to optimize your Windows PC the best way for gaming I would probably just recommend you to disable all of these you can do the same thing also on Windows 10 it should more or less be in the same category so therefore it doesn't really matter if you're running Windows 10 or 11 and then we just simply gonna close this and we're already done here with this first 
step. And in the final step, guys, I'm just gonna show one more time the step where you can let you check your hard drive or SSD or just simply your main storage for any issues on a Windows PC. And all you guys need to do is actually click here on this file explorer on the bottom of your PC. Just simply open it up and then you're gonna go here onto this PC and there you should see like right now all the storages which you have on your PC and I'm using as my main drive here my 2TB M.2 SSD so we're just gonna right click onto C because this is most likely where you have your windows and then go onto properties and then we can see this new menu here guys and we can see first of all our storage usage all the good stuff and we're gonna click here onto tools and then we can see now error checking in the first place this is what I'm going to do this is not gonna take like super long like really depending on how fast your main storage is if you're running an HDD it's gonna take longer if you're running a normal SSD it's gonna take a little bit less and with m.2 ssd it should only take like a few seconds and as you can see my drive was successfully scanned there are no issues or whatsoever no errors were found it literally says here so we're gonna close it and then we're gonna go into optimize and defragment drive and this is something which i would recommend you guys to actually do like every two to three weeks just to make it like easier for windows to find certain files and this can also really like give you benefits in terms of fps since windows doesn't have to always like look for your whole entire storage to find certain programs or applications so therefore as you can see here's my main um, drive here and we're just going to click on to optimize it's only going to take like a few seconds as it seems here because i do this actually quite frequently and yeah it's only going to take like a few seconds as mentioned here 70 80 percent already done and once you're done with that you're also going to go on the second one and we're going to optimize it as well this should only take a few seconds since i haven't even used this ssd here so far so therefore guys yeah this is just something i would recommend you to do literally all one two so yeah guys, this is literally something I would recommend you to do every like two to three weeks just to speed up your PC a little bit more. And you gotta understand it as like this. And you gotta understand it like this. Every time you install a new program or download something on your PC, Windows is just gonna throw it like somewhere on your storage. It literally doesn't matter. It's just gonna throw it like somewhere on your SSD, on your hard drive. And this literally helps Windows to like, um, kind of like sort it in so it knows exactly where those programs are. So therefore you just get like quicker access to your programs and apps. And yeah, it just speeds up your PC overall. And with that said, we can just simply close this, click on okay, and we're done here as well. And yeah guys, this is it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel this would help me out so so much and if you still have any more questions feel free to ask me them down in the comment section below i try to answer as many as possible and with that said have a great day have a great night whenever you're watching this and until next time stay awesome i'm out peace